What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we literally went through a pirate ship. We went through a pirate ship, and we had to find out a code for something because, well, good old Draven is uh, really good at remembering stuff. Of course, I'm being sarcastic right here, but you guys know what it is. So, before we did anything, I kind of want to check out what's over here, and it looks like it's nothing so yeah <laughs> never mind so let's see it looks like we have to go back to the giant chasm because um yeah there is business afoot over there and that is the well what was supposed to be the pokemon gray version pokemon mascot uh what's his face kirim yeah he was a <laughs> Yeah, he was kidnapped by Team Plasma, so now we have to go save him and all that crud. So, we need to save him. And we need to save him pretty good right here, because, yeah, this uh, Pokemon cruelty is never good. So we're going to speed it up, try to get over there and all that crud, and uh, just continue our little, uh, a little adventure. Like I said in the last few episodes, guys, everything we're doing right now, first time ever, I'm excited about it because, well, dang, just a lot of stuff. And wow, you can find Dillabird right here? That's pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. So, let's go right ahead, continue our little, our little, uh, you know, blitz right here to the giant chasm. And can't believe it was this easy just to get there. So, if you guys remember, last episode, we actually thought to go, we actually thought that we had to go here in Poke, in Route 120, or Route 22. And no, I don't want to use that right now. We got 22 repels, and... Let's go right ahead and take care of business. So yes, I actually thought we were supposed to go right here. And after doing the whole event is over at Route 21, he was going to be like, You're already here, huh? Anyone who tries to block us will go running away with their tail between their legs. The hate is real with this kid. And he's like, or the team uh, Plasma member is like, Hey, it's good. We're all set here. It's finally time. Come on, let's go. Huh. And, well, he was going to be like, you're all alone now. So which one of us you want to tackle? <laughs> wow. Oi, it's me, me, the team X or the X team plasma guy. The one rude, uh, the one rude asked to spy. Or, oh, yeah, I remember you being an X team plasma is really, really tough, eh? You know, and was so nice to Pokemon. And all I wanted to do was to protect, uh, to protect Pokemon from bad people. Well, I suppose. If we don't crush Team Plasma, then guys like you and N guy and that N guy will always be treated like villains. Okay, I'm out of here, Draven. Hmm. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Even if even if we said it was for Pokemon, in the end, we we were all doing what we wanted to do. Please excuse me. There's something I I uh, have to do. Oh. Okay. Well, Let's continue on right here into the giant chasm and just remember guys you need Pokemon with uh, what was it called um, with strength to go here especially with well, especially with uh, with surf and all that crud too and we already used up a uh, what was it called a repel so let's go ahead and press this just in case and wow this was literally gonna make us go all the way around there was no reason for that um, and there's a deep area right there. So, let's go right here first, and look at that. We're going to be finding a Vanillish, and yes, I've put on a Repel, but just remember, guys, that any kind of Pokemon with, like, level, the same level or level higher than you, they will be, they will be getting at you, so, let's see. That was, yeah, that was, that was nothing. Okay, so, go right here, there's nothing, and go now we're gonna be finding ourselves a pokeball right here and that is the tm13 ice beam a very useful move that well we're gonna be using later on right here especially for the pokemon league and well now we got to go all the way back down right here and as you guys can see we're entering well there is a there is a a cave right there but before we go we go into that little cave there's an exit, and there's other stuff right here, too, which I kind of feel like we need to check up on before we, you know, do anything else. And look at that. We found ourselves a Max Repel. And... Well, let's see. This guy... Okay, so if we go right here, we're standing watch here so our allies don't go AWOL. Huh! <laughs> wow. 
they they have been forewarned and well before anything else let's go ahead and just grab items before the whole you know this whole issue starts happening and let's see right here there's no item right here there should be an item right there and there's this hmm yes we found ourselves an ice gem so this being our first time guys it's it's just you know the whole reactions to everything that we're doing right here is genuine because holy crud like i can't believe i missed out on this game this game's very very good um and i i think i mentioned this in the last episode uh the reason why like i stopped i didn't really play the games in pokemon black and white and black and white 2 is because you know time was of the essence and Wow, we remember this place. Okay, so I remember this place. If if you guys remember, back in Pokemon Black, we came here maybe like about a year later to capture Kiram and all that stuff in our little February of finishing everything up. And uh, yeah, this place was, was, was a bit of a puzzle just to get to and all that crud. And yeah, this one leads us to Route 13. And let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> there really isn't a lot that you can find in this area. Except for just the items that are going, going outside and all that stuff. So what's going to happen is we're just going to have to go back here. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, the reason why I haven't played games like Pokemon Black and White 2 or Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, it was because, and it still is, time I really don't have a lot of so I have to manage what I do like what what games do I play and all that stuff and well you guys are loving the five episodes each so here it is and as you guys can see team plasma is still doing something and Hughes just like come here wait a sec he said he wants to talk to them so his uh, old allies won't get hurt oh okay rude is like ah I will say it as many times as it takes until you understand. Getz's real plan was to take over the Unova region. Liberating Pokemon was nothing more than an excuse. If anything, it would have made Pokemon suffer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty. That, that's a pretty speech, uh, Grandpa. You fool. Were you not going to listen to what a traitor has to say? Wow, look at this. And he's like, well, that didn't work. Hey! Oh, wow, he's... <laughs> Let me through! And then a Team Plasma member is going to be like, What are you saying? Looking like looking to get hurt? I'm going to get a stolen Pokemon back. I'm not going to listen to villains like you. Rude, ex Team Plasma. Why do you have to why do you have Pokemon by your sides? To protect what's important to you, right? Even if your precious Pokemon get hurt, even if your ideals are damaged, the time to fight is now. Mm, you're just a kid. Quit trying to act so cool. Whatever. Nobody's getting a close to the pla to, to the plasma forget. Wipe all that, that wipe them all out. And well, as usual, we have to take an, uh, we have to take on both of them. So, yeah, we're going to be taking on the traders and these guys. So, let's go right ahead and take on a team plasma member. And of course, he's coming out with a wheezing right here. A Pokémon that, you know, Gigalith could have easily defeated and well, that was a critical hit. Critical hits seem to be happening uh, lately. And well, here comes a muck. Let's go with Gigalift yet again. And well, there can look at that. Okay, muck looking all mean and yucky and all that stuff. So here comes a psychic attack. And here is an acid armor that will increase his defense sharply. And that won't be effective because, well, look at this. Gigalift level 46. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Plasma grind. And they're like, what the hell? Are your Pokemon okay? You should take take these with you. And look at that. We got ourselves some Max Revives. And he's like, you too. Thanks. I'm passing through. Oh, it looks like their backup has arrived. Oh, really? Okay. I can take them all on. At times like these, those whose hearts weaken, those whose determined falters, can accomplish nothing. To our old allies to protect Unova, we will fight. Both of you go. No, just a moment. Hugh was it. 
about the Pokemon you're looking for. In all likelihood, it is in the possession of a Shadow Triad, the Dark Warriors, who appear silently. Got it. If I rescue it, that helps you guys absolve your guilt, doesn't it? Guess I'll help you out. Yeah, he is a man on a mission, and uh, <laughs> he's like, at that time, I believe we were on the side of justice by serving my King N. I was going to make the world without war, but I was conceited, and I, and, I, and I couldn't see the unhappiness we were causing. That's why I can't let this happen again. Okay. Alrighty, so let's continue on right here. Grab this item, and look at this. We found ourselves a Razor Claw. Always nice to have, and, well... This is interesting. Look at this. It's all icy, and I'm only assuming we're going to have to, like, go through some icy paths and whatnot. Here we found ourselves a Moonstone, which, well, if you guys caught the last episode, we did capture a Clefairy and all that, and, wow. They, wow, okay, so, let's see. What happens if we go down here? Well, we can't go down there, so it looks like to me, crap baskets, okay, so, yeah, it's another it's another ice puzzle, which many of you guys already know I, I hate. And, well, here we are in the brigade. And just like that, Hugh's just messing with everybody right here. Go on ahead. I'm going to make them tell me about the Shadow Triad. If you find Purloin or the Shadow Triad, let me know. Okay. So, again, a man on a mission. So, if, if I remember correctly, we need to go with this area right here. And... Right here, this will lead us straight to the area where, you know, of course, we met Kyurem. And as you can see, Kyurem is not a happy Pokemon right now. So, let's see. What is this? This is the laser beam. Holy crud. Okay, it's the laser. The freaking laser that I would love to use, but I can't because, well, you yeah, know, we're the, we're the hero right here. Why not be the villain for once? I mean, heals, baby faces, all that stuff. It comes into effect. Okay, so if we go... Oh, you know what? Forgot. This guy was sleeping, so... That would have probably been the indication. And look at this. We're going to be double teamed right here. So, let's go ahead and battle this... Or these two individuals who have six Pokemon in all. And, well, we got our two mightiest Pokemon right here. Let's go with a slash attack to this guy. Let's go with a flamethrower onto that guy and see who wins it out. There we go. Flamethrower for the win. And Bud Kiss grows to level 47. I didn't mean to do that. And here comes in a gunk shot. That is not going to be good. So let's go right ahead and go for a, a, a what was it called? A slash attack. And if we go for, okay, so that's not going to work out to our, to our advantage right there. So let's go flamethrower attack yet again. Slash attack. Trubbish defeated. High jump kick messes with our Pokemon, and now we're having some now we're having some real issues right here. So let's go with a dig attack to this guy, and go one more flamethrower to Scrafty, and there we go. Scrafty defeated, and we're gonna be digging a hole. Here comes Whirlipede. Let's go another flamethrower attack. You see, teamwork makes the dream work, and just like that, we defeated another person. Side of the torrent grows to level 46. And it looks like it's going to be a bad day for Golbat right here. So let's go straight for a flamethrower attack and slash attack. <laughs> and there goes the team Gal or team Plasma Grunt. They both look the same. Okay, so let's go to the teleporter right here, and we're taking on this guy. He's like, at last we meet again. Remember me, formerly of Team Plasma. I've been waiting for you. Gah. Spying is such a, uh, such a rotten job. I contacted Rude of the Seven Sages, but nobody showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everyone around me is always saying bad stuff about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed the course of to a better path. Yet they call him a betrayer? People really sting sometimes. They selfishly counted on him, and now they're selfishly make a big fuss about being betrayed. Oh. Huh. I nearly forgot to tell you, this floor is a maze of pipes. You got to step on the switches to connect the dead and disconnect the pipes. It's a it's a good thing that we can walk on the pipes. Are you serious? Oh crap, baskets. So yeah. Let's see what happens right here. As far as I'm concerned, we're gonna 
we're going to be battling a lot right here. So let's go straight for a surf attack. And there we go. Defeated. Okay, so where are the pipes? Oh, I see. Okay. There it is. Wow, this... This is creative. It's, it's very, very creative. And, uh, well, before we move on, let's go right ahead and... Let's see, let's go ahead and take care of a few things, okay? So, Sigh of the Torrent is already at level 40 or 56. I think it's time for me to switch up our Pokemon. Like, give the experience to somebody else, because I, I, I completely forgot about this item. Let's go ahead and take this, and... I think we need to power up somebody else right here, okay? So, we got two rare candies. And they gave us three max revives. Are you serious? Okay. You know, you could have given us six. I mean, that would have been nice. Um, okay, so let's see. We do have quite a few items that we, we have received over the few the last few uh, episodes. So I think the next Pokemon that needs to be leveled up is Desert Storm. Take the scope lens. Give the scope lens to Sigh of the Torrent right here. And there might be something else that we might have that we probably had for a while. Oh, we got a shell bell. Okay. Um, let's give that to Sigh of the Torrent because there's a lot of. It's been getting a lot of damage as of late. And, well, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we had two of those suckers. Okay. All right. And, uh, well, let's see. It's time to use Mag. Oh, wait. It's time to use Magneto. And let's go ahead and take care of business right here. So, this is going towards the very top, and we're going to be facing two Team Galactic or Team Plasma members right here. Again, still, it's, they, they, they both look the same in the earlier versions. Can't blame me if I'm saying the same thing all over again. So, let's go with a Flash Cannon, and that right there hits it pretty hard, and going with another Flash Cannon, and that... I don't know why you're increasing your stats right here, because that's not going to work out. And, yes, you won't be able to forgive us right here. So, grabbing these two items, we find another Max Revive, which can be useful. And grab this and Max Elisir. It's kind of lame because in the games, you usually get, like, a certain amount of Max of everything. And, well, let's see. So, we have to connect everything. And it looks like, to me, it takes us to Teleprompters. And, well... We don't want to do that just yet, so... Let's go ahead and battle everybody right here. I guess experience... I guess the experience here, like, the experience is, is needed right here. So let's go right ahead and go with a charge beam. Eventually, I'm going to have to teach this Pokemon a different move. And that right there is going to increase his defense sharply. So there you go. And... Well, let's go with a Survivor. He's coming out with a Survivor. So let's go straight for a Gigalith. And Survivor looking mean and everything. Kind of tempting to actually get as a, uh, as a Pokemon because it has a good uh, physical attack, I believe. And there we go. Okay, so let's see. Who's next? Who is next? Let's see. Where? Oh, where? Okay, so we, we should probably go here. And it will take us towards this particular area. And bam, we found ourselves a Power Belt. wonder what this Power Belt does. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so the power belt right here is a held item that promotes defense gain by leveling and it reduces the, st the speed stat. So, yeah, this is another EV IV kind of training thing. And this guy wants to battle us. So, let's go right ahead and take on another Team Galactic Grunt. I mean, Team Plasma Grunt. And here we go Volt Switch. That does it, and it takes us from a, it takes us out of a nasty situation, and we're going to Desert Storm right here. Let's go straight for. Why did I go for that? Oh my God, we're gonna lose. All right, let's go Dragon Breath, and High Jump Kick messes with us seriously. Okay, I am tempted to, to switch out that Pokemon because good gravy, Desert Storm in this game just sucks, and. Let's see, these arrows right here, it looks like these arrows right here are like, I guess they're like uh, telling us where to go and all that crud, so let's see. 
And we go right here. Press this button. Okay, so we have to... Yeah, it looks like to me that we have to take, a, take away a... Uh, like, what was it? Deactivate some stuff right here, so... That's always good. And, well, we're not going to use those max revives because... As many of you guys already know, yes, we, we, we got we got a lot. We got a lot to cover right here. So, Desert Storm. Oh, Desert Storm. How come... Why are you... Why are you the way you are? So, let's go straight for that. And... Go up here. And... If we go right here... We deactivate that. So, that's two... They got some Lieutenant Surge kind of stu uh, stuff going on right here. And we can't go under this. So we deactivated two things. We're going to go back. And we go up here. We forgot to take on this trainer right here. So let's go ahead and take on this guy. and Or this chick right here. And she's going to be coming out with a Dino. And this Pokemon right here, it's just... It, it's so unfair how we... Like, we have to capture him so late, and then leveling it up is ridiculous. Like, having it fully evolve at the very end is just, it's, it's, it's stupid, and I, I guess that's, <laughs> I guess that's our fault right there. Probably. So here comes Sneasel, and let's go with a flamethrower attack right here for the win, and there goes Sneasel, defeated. And let's see, maybe if Team Plasma can take over the, the, the Unova region, our king will come back. So, they're still thinking of N as the king, and... Okay, so that... That is useful. So now... We can go right there. Now, before we do anything... How about this? Yeah, that was probably not the best idea. Crap baskets. Okay, so... Yeah, it was literally not the best idea. Or... Was it? Hold on right here and this one will take us towards the very entrance okay so right here and right here and okay so what's this okay so it's nothing huh okay I'm starting to get I'm starting to get what, what this is all about so that's that. And we have to get to that spot. And there it is. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be taking on this guy right here. All right, let's go. Taking on Team Plasma. I said it right, Team Plasma. And let's go with a flash cannon right here for the win. And Skoropi defeated. Here comes a Fungus. Let's go with Big Booty Buckus. And the big booty one is about to just flamethrower away right here. Alrighty, alrighty. And coming out with the Golbat, I think it's a very, very good time to actually use Magneto yet again. Quad damage and everything. And, well, let's go. Charge Beam for the win. And Golbat just not liking me right now. So Acrobatics is hitting us. Here comes a... Good old-fashioned charge beam. And there we go. Winning again. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. My plan is for justice. I will carry it no matter w what anyone says. No matter what. Not that you have anything to say about it. Or, well, okay. And... Huh. Okay, so... You know what troubles me? How come all of us who were in Team Plasma together thinking we knew what was right are now divided into former Team Plasma members and continuing Team Plasma members? Both with opposing uh, points of view. Where's the line between a friend and a foe? I send a lot of time asking myself that. As for you, on this floor, you'll need to deactivate the barriers to come on, uh, continue on. Deactivate them by stepping on the switches. Move around by stepping in the war panels and you'll find our switches. So, yeah. We got one more. Actually, it looks like we got... Yeah, we got to get to these panels right here. Holy buckets. Okay, so... Yeah, I, I was thinking too far ahead. And we're going to have to go to the panels in order to to figure this whole thing out. So let's see. We, what if we go right here? This one will lead us right here. And 
go right here. And there we go. We found another panel. So we got one more panel to go and then redo this whole uh, switching out thing. So let's see. What if we go here? And actually, that returned us right here. So it uh, looks like we have to go upstairs. And... Okay, if you go right here. Okay, so not, not right there. Jesus. So this is what happens when you play the game for the first time. Not exactly the first time, but this, this whole area is the first time now. And that we've already been through. And... Okay, so we've done that. That is already done. So, we've already been through these two spots. So we need to go... Where do we go next? I mean, we've already been here. And... What if we go right here? That's going back straight to the place that we, we wanted to go. And... Jesus, it looks like to me I'm going to have to try and get through everything, so let's see. I'm going to like touch every single one of these panels and see which one is the one. And we've already been there. Right here. And there it is, guys. We found the final barrier. So, let's see. Yeah, we haven't battled her, so let's go ahead and take this care, uh, take care of this one. And she's coming out with a Trobish... Let's go Volt Switch. And that right there will switch us to Giga Lift. And, well, there is an Amnesia attack, which is special defense will go up. Preparing for Giga Lift. And, well, there you go. Trubbish defeated. Magneto grows level 46. And here comes Zangoose. Let's go with Shadar. Okay, so Shadar looking like a beast itself, going with a high jump kick. And there we go. High jump kick does the trick. And there we go. Okay, so that is a victory for us. Now we have to... Yeah, now we have to <laughs> do this whole thing all over again. And if only I could remember. Or actually... Oh, crap baskets. Yeah, we can't move anywhere else. We kind of messed this up. Let's see. Not there. We have to go right here. And there you go. And do this again. Crap baskets. Yeah, so... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Either way you look at it, you still win. And let's see. Yeah, we're. this is the same old thing all over again. So let's just not do that. So here it is. This is Kirum, and Zinzelain's like, the device is indestructible. You'll, ne you'll never be able to release Kirum. You don't have a sense, on, uh, sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Okay. So, here we go. We are taking on Zinzeloin. This guy is angry right now and he does have some pretty good Pokemon like Kraganol. So let's go Volt Switch and why? Why must he use Confuse Ray? Good gravy. Okay. Ice Beam hits us. This we switch or we snap out of it. And we're gonna be going straight to the big booty one himself. And we're gonna be going straight for a flamethrower attack. And look at that. Kraganol defeated. And he has another one. Wow, he, he must really love those Pokemon right here. So there it is. Going with... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so it, it is burned finally. So let's go with a Flame Blitz. And bam. That takes care of that. And Desert Storm grows to level 48. We got to switch out. Or actually, you know what? Let's keep it the same. Here's Weavile. And this Pokemon right here is a... Well, it is a very, very, very fast Pokemon. So... What we're going to do full restore straight to butt kiss, and here comes a Night Slash. That right there messes us up, but here goes a Flare Blitz. Sacrifice that body for the win. And <laughs> we have defeated him. Zinzeloin's like beaten again. No matter, no matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Uh-oh. 
So, what do I do now? Um, what's up, guy? <laughs> if you intend to continue, step on the other war panel. Keep in mind, you're going to be get beaten up if you do. The other war panel? Oh, okay. I really don't care. So, let's see. Um, what if we press... Oh, it's a black and white. It's a device uh, to control the ship's every, uh, energy system, and... Oh, wow. This Pokemon is not liking it. And it looks like the controls did to... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so... We can't save this Pokemon right now. But it looks like there, there's another level right here. So we need to revive our Pokemon. And... You know, we could have just... Uh, Heal ourselves with that doctor right there. Okay, so that and that. Okay. Let's see what happens right here. And... Well, here we are at the very end. And as you guys can see, Colrus is at the very end of this. He's like, welcome. I asked by my... Uh, I, I, I was asked by an acquaintance to help with this research. What I desire is to bring out uh, the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I could accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. Oh, okay. So, if it means this strength must uh, must be brought out by an inter by the interactions between Pokémon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to uh, have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasmas and force uh, force out all the Pokémon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer, I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. Oh, he's, he's like, come at me, bro. Okay. I have a feeling of what Pokemon you're going to try and use, so let's go right ahead and uh, make this guy regret he forever saying that. It looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. Okay. So here it is, guys. We're taking on Colrus. And this Pokemon trainer is a no slouch. He is a scientist looking kind of guy, and he is coming out with a Magneton. This guy loves his Steel-type Pokemon. I don't know why, but he does. And, well, Magneton is looking pretty ma majestic as well. So, here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon. And, of course, he survives off of one HP. So, let's go one more time. And this Flamethrower nearly defeats this Pokemon. And good gravy. He's using the same strategy as me, and he does have a Magnezone. God dang it. Okay, so we do need to use a full restore. And there we go. Here comes a discharge attack. And that was going to mess us up either way. So here goes Flamethrower for the win. And there we go with more power. And this guy has a Matang. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so Matang is a Pokemon that you don't want to mess with. But it is weak against it is weak against fire type Pokemon. So, all right. How many, how many more do I have? I have one more Flamethrower right here. Oh my god, okay. Let's go with Shadar. And we're gonna go with the high jump kick, and yes, you must recharge, and wow, nearly beat him, and it does have an air balloon, so that kind of made it light, and that is going to raise its stats a little bit, and just like that, Shadar's Moxie kicks in, level 46, level 49 for Desert Storm, and it's trying to learn Hyper Beam. Let's see, what kind of move is it? Okay, it's a special move. See, that is a physical. As far as I, I see, yeah, its special moves did not work, so. You know what? We already have a hyper beam. We're not gonna we're not gonna teach it. And this guy is coming out with this. Holy buckets. I don't know what that Pokemon is. And there's a crunch attack. Thanks to the Moxie. Yes, this Pokemon is going to destroy everybody right here. So here is Magneton. And we're going to go with a Crunch Attack. And here comes a Flash Cannon. That right there takes a wall up and bam. For the win. And there's some more Moxie. Yeah, this Pokemon is indestructible. And Colrus has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see what you're all about. So strong. You're a very strong Pokemon indeed. So let me ask you this. 
Are you thinking of reaching even greater heights or even higher heights by understanding each other as a Pokemon and trainer? Yes, I see. To me, that is an ideal answer. To think that's what you actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon it can increase their powers only to, uh, to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out using a specific approach. Or a scientific approach, huh? Even one without conscious. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how, how the relationship between uh, people and Pokemon should be. So, so, where will this be settled? Step on the war panel and on the other on the other side of the room where Kiram is and being held. Good luck on your battle. Huh. So we got another battle and uh, what is this? What does that button do? Jeez, okay, so this continues on right here. And I need to I need to revive another Pokemon because yes, there we go. Big booty butt kiss and then Let's see, another Hyper Potion. That would do. And give that to Shadar. And then an Ether. An Ether would work right here, since we've been using a, a buttload of them. So let's go with a Flamethrower. And, well, let's continue our little interaction right here. And this guy is like, What? You beat Colrus? Huh. I pretended to be so strong, but I don't even have any Pokemon. That's right, run away. Run away. Okay, so... Here we are in the final boss's room, and would you look at that. That blasted Chloris. Oh, wow. The fool, is too, uh, the fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Urim's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people and Pokemon will bow to Team Plasma's, no, at my feet. Oh wow, I haven't seen you in like forever. Urim is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it splits it into Reshram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova. Oh wow. That's right. Kyurem will be the vessel into which my desires will, will be poured. The Shadow Triad is right here. He's like, Lord Getsis. Kyurem has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am an absolute ruler of Unova who has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Oh, wow. Okay, so what is going on right here? And, well, oh, look at this. Speak of the devil. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the Purloin that you stole, that was stolen in Aspertia. Very well. This might be it. Oh, wow. So, it's evolved. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Aspertia. So it seems likely that it's... That, the, that it is the Pokemon you're, you're talking about. But now, it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me, that's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and that we're in the whims of their trainers. Lord Getz has spoke of the Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but if his plans have had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Lipard, well, you knew it was a Purloin. If it was, a, if it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then, you there. I won't let you interfere with our with Lord Guess's plans. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here. So as you guys can see, we're taking on a Team Plasma Shadow, and he's coming out with a Ponyard. So, yes, Budkiss, ready to go, using its Flamethrower to all its might, yes. And look at that, level 48, and here comes Absol. So let's go right ahead and go with Shadar right here. Okay, so let's see. Just a while ago, I did capture myself an Absol. 
I don't want to use it now, but no. There it is. Moxie for the win. And we grew to level 47. And here he's going to be coming out with a Ponyard. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off one more time. And bam. That is how you do it. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Team Plasma Shadow is not so happy. Not happy at all. And, well... He's like, you're not done yet. Okay, so it's a three on one. Hey, you're, you, you're freaking here to try and help me, and you're not going to help me with these guys? Good gravy. Okay. All right, let's beat all three of these guys since, uh, you know, homeboy can't help us out. I'd rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather get all the levels anyway. So there we go. Flamethrower for the win. Here comes a Bayonet. That Pokemon is going to be crazy strong. So let's go straight for Shador. Mainly because it's a dark type Pokemon and it can do this. And here comes a Shadow Claw, nearly defeating it. And wow. Jeebus. Okay, so here we go. Full restore. You're not going to beat him that easily. Here comes another Shadow Claw. Not so effective. And let's get it with the Crunch. And just like that, more points for us. Let's finish off this Ponyard. And here we go. High jump kick for the win. And, yes, Desert Storm finally grows to level 50. And he's like, listen well. The only thing we want is to, for the, or is the world Lord gets his desires. Yeah. That's pretty cool and all, but uh, I kind of live in this world, so never mind. Okay, so we're going to move this, uh, we're going to move this experience here to Gigalift. That way, we start getting level 50 Pokemon. Hey, man, are you going to help us out? No. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Getsis. Oh, yeah, well, Lord Beerus has something to say about that, so here we go. Another Shadow Triad guy, and let's get it with a flamethrower. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And let's just continue it on. Flamethrowers all over. Yes. Oh, yes. And here comes an Excelagor. This is a very interesting Pokemon because I believe it's both Steel and... Or no, it's Psychic and Bug Art or something. No, it's Ghost and Bug, probably. I don't even know. Alrighty, so we did all the work while, you know, he was there doing nothing. Even if I lose, Lord Guesses simply has to win. And Hugh, with his dialogue, he's like, no matter. The only thing you can uh, do is watch Lord Guesses use Kyurem to freeze Unova solid. That's all. You! I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Gessis is about to do, I have no further need to it. And, well, Hugh is just heartbroken. He's like, hey, Draven, if we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Purloin and Kyurem. Okay. Hey, I want to take a look at this. Um, I want to go right here. Okay, we can't sit, but look at this. this look, at the, look at these. Oh, man, this guy was living a lie for the last two years. Anywho, let's continue on right here. Yes, I'm not stopping until we're done. And wow, we are at the very end of this whole place right here. I'm a little excited, guys, because, wow. Still feels about to happen. And, okay, right here. And there we go. Going down. Going right here. You got to love this. You got to love the mazes. And... Wow, this this does like this does makes make everything so easy because if you guys remember in Pokemon Black, reaching this whole place was difficult. And well, we're here. And what we're about to find out is something pretty crazy. And it is not that. It's a Sneasel. It's a Sneasel who's in our way. Let's go with the Crunch Attack. Uh, screech Attack right there. It is fast. It is very, very fast. And, well, let's go again with another uh, move like this. Bam. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon because, well, it's for it's for the hood now. So here we go. Dust Ball. Very appropriate. And just... Oh, wow. Come on. Okay. You're going to be lame like that. Let's go right ahead and do this. Sneasel, very, 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 very cool Pokemon. And yes, it does not want to get captured. Let's go again. Come on. And let's go ahead and do this again. And there you go. We caught it. Okay, so here it is, Sneasel, the Sharp Claw Pokemon. A smart and sneaky Pokemon. It makes its opponents flinch by suddenly showing the claws hidden within its paws. Claws and paws. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just move on right here. Okay, so we need repels because obviously we're gonna be finding ourselves a very very interesting uh, turn of events right here. And well, let's see. Let's see. Let's go right here. And well, let's go with those super repels since we do have 18 of these little suckers. If you guys remember, we found Kiram here in Pokemon. In Pokemon white or black I should say and before we do anything I want to check something out nope you don't do anything right there we just wasted a, a few steps we're going into this cavern and as you guys can see ice is appearing so we must be so close and BAM there he is the giant chasm this is the spot where Kiram's power resonates here Kiram can use the full extent of his power and easily cover all of Unova in ice. The hell? The hell are you doing, homie? Cure him! Come! Oh, God. And here is Cure him. I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it. That aside, this is my gift to you to show my respect for making it this far. I'll freeze you solid right here so you can watch my glorious ascent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cure him! Glaciate! Uh-oh. And I'm about to get frozen. Uh-oh. What the hell is this Pokemon doing? This is not good. Hey, man, be cool. Oh, my God. And... Right when I'm about to get hit, Rishram! Fusion Flare! Holy buckets. So you came. The freak without a human heart. N. And would you look at that. N has returned from the dead. Not really from the dead, but he's right here. <laughs> and he's, uh, he saved me. He's like, Reshiram told me Kiram is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like you, Nova. It's the place that, ca that taught me how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between humans, or Pokemon and humans, living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live here. And just like that, Gets is like, excellent. That was a moving expression of your determination. So the education I provided you to you to make you a king wasn't a complete waste then. But I still haven't forgotten that even I was kind enough to find you or find you when you were living in the forest with Pokemon and take you in and care for you. In, in the end, you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to use your abilities to rule Unova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Reshiram, which you were kind enough to bring to you, can I melt ice? Now you saved me the work for, of searching it for it. Well, actually, I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles in Opal into Opalicid City, and you noticed the change. That's an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will. If I use these, the DNA splicers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And just like that, the DNA splicers come out, and that... Uh-oh. Okay. So... What the hell is going on here? Okay, so we got a Digivolution here, so I'm gonna shut up.
Okay, so that was freaking fantastic. Again, first time, guys, and no, we are not pausing the game. It is Friday. I'm giving you something very special, and that is uh, this right here. Holy crud. So, and is questioned. He's like, Reshiram. Cure him. Absorb Reshiram. Use Epso Fusion. Wow. That was badass. I'm not going to lie. Again, first time for everything, and this is the first time. Holy crud. So, before I continue, guys, back then, everybody, everybody was talking about, like, Pokemon fusions. Literal Pokemon fusions, and I believe there is a hack game out there now where you can fuse Pokemon. And this right here... You know, once it was revealed that, well, Curum, Zekrom, and uh, what was the other one? And Reshiram, they were all one being. That right there was like, oh, that's pretty fantastic. And, uh, well, this right here explains a lot. I think I found, like, I think I, 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 I don't know. Like, I think I've heard somewhere down the line that, yeah, you can't really get this Pokemon here. But there's a big but. You can battle it. So look at this. And it's confused and exclamation point. I never would have believed that the Pokemon could fuse together. That there was a formula like this. You fool! Last time, I was going to use you to capture the po people's hearts and minds to rule them. But this time, I'm simply going to use over uh, use overwhelming power and rule with a, with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you, si if you had simply become king, you never would have remained beautiful. Come on, come now, trainer. This time, no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this Kyurem. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaken in rage? Or with rage? The hell? No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have emotion or thought. Come, challenge Kyurem. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits signals that disrupt the function of Pokeballs. Dick. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be the first time. Um, I'm saying this. Probably sick of hearing it, but... Uh, maximum effort. Uh, let's see. Who... Oh, oh, you know what? Screw it. Right in front of his face, let's go ahead and teach him a few good moves and all that crud, okay? Just so we can show him that, yeah, you can suck it. Uh, first is first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go with a full restore to this guy. Um, this guy. And let's go into our TM case and let's organize this just a little bit. So let's go with number. So we've gotten ourselves Ice Beam and this is going to be a very awesome move, which I'm going to teach Sigh of the Torrent, and... Uh, hmm. X-Scissor. I think I already have that. Huh. Screw it. Let's go with a Slash Attack, just for this. Um, return, or... Let's go ahead and give Return to a Pokemon who absolutely loves me. Big Booty Budkiss can be one of them, and yeah, look at this. Flare Blitz is a pretty good move. Um, crap baskets. You know what? 
for right now, let's go ahead and take away Flare Blitz because, you know, return a little bit stronger with this Pokemon. Let's go with a Shadow Ball right here and give that to Gigalith. And I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's go with the Air Slash right here. And well, let's see. You know, Scald is a pretty good move. And I wish I could give it to Psy, but yeah. Let's see. Acrobatics, Bolt Tackle, Bulldoze. Yes, I know I'm taking my time. Screw it, let's do it. <sighs> let's see. Um, let's see, who is going to take on our Pokemon? Let's go with Psy of the Torrent right here. All right, maximum effort. Let's talk to N. It's faint, but I can hear my friend and I, I can hear Reshiram's voice. It says that they can be separated again. Please save my friend. And all of you know his Pokemon and humans. And if you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, Come on! Or come now. I want to see your face the moment you lose all hope. Battle to protect you, Nova. I prepared the finest stage, and it's wasted on a bit, bit player like you. Lose and go down in flames. Wow, it's kind of like me telling everybody, go die in a fire. All right, so we can't capture this Pokemon. So here it is. A special battle against Kurum White. And this Pokemon is at level 55. It looks like it's on steroids and crud. All right, uh, Turbo Blaze. Let's see what that Ice Beam does. Here comes a Fusion Flare. That messes us up. And that doesn't do much, but thankfully we do have a Shell Bell. All right, <sighs> let's go with a Dig Attack right here. Ice Burn, and what the heck? Okay, so I don't even know what that is, but I'm assuming that it's going to burn us if we physically touch this Pokemon right here. So here comes Ice Burn. We avoided the attack. And that is not effective. Holy crud. Okay, so what can affect this Pokemon? Let's go. You know what? Let's go with this guy right here. And Desert Storm coming out with an Ice Burn. And Cloaked in Freezing Air. What the hell does that move do? Comment down below, guys. Because we won't be able to capture this guy, so... Let's see. How about a Rock Slide? And Ice Burn comes out, and that... is going to mess up Desert Storm. Wow. Okay. I see how it is. So, let's go right ahead. And... Let's go right ahead and try out Gigalith right here. And yeah, this <laughs> this is getting ridiculous right here. So, uh, Psychic Attack for the win. And here comes a Fusion Flare. This Pokemon is, wow, messing us up. Wow, okay, so... Yeah, it looks like to me that we're just going to have to like straight up go with Side of the Torrent right here. And let's go with the next scissors. Let's go Dragon Breath. And yes, we're getting our little increase right here. So here comes another Dragon Breath. And that messes us up. Wow. Okay, so this Pokemon is... Yeah, this Pokemon is it. So let's go straight to Magneto. Go with a Thunder Wave attack. And Ice Berm is freezing up everything. So here we go. Thunder Wave. And, well, let's go with a Volt Switch attack right here. And that doesn't do much. Let's go Big Booty Butkus, the only Pokemon that probably won't be affected by this. And, yes, it is paralyzed. Time to finish it off with the power of love. Return. Here comes a return attack, and bam. For the win, say goodbye to Wild Curum White or something like that. Yes. Everybody gets experience points, and <laughs> just like that. Oh, wow. They were separated. I can't believe it. The White Kiram, I went to all the trouble of preparing. How irritating. Now I have to go recapture Kiram. Don't I? But first, I'll take you down. Or I'll take down this disgusting trainer with my own hand. This time, I will succeed. No matter what, the, what they try. No matter will, no one will be able to stop me. I suck at reading. I saw him. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and wait, what the hell? Oh wow. Uh, did he just heal? Did he just heal us? Because oh my god, we are taking on Getsis. 
And this guy here is not happy. He is not happy. He's coming out with a... Oh, wow. Okay, so yes. And did heal our Pokemon. Let's go. Let's get this. Alrighty. Ice Beam Attack for the win. Let's go. Trying to freeze a Ghost-type Pokemon. And that right there hits us with a Toxic, but no. And what is this Pokemon doing? Okay, so it has leftovers. So this Pokemon Trainer is definitely coming out with something. And here comes... Okay, protection attack, and, well, let's go right ahead. Surf attack for the win. Not there, and Toxic is going to hit us pretty hard right there. And, well, let's go straight again. Yeah, this guy... Okay, so here we go. Surf attack he does the trick, and... Well, of course, we both have some, uh... We both have some stuff that can actually help us with recovery, but... As you guys can see, I am going to be losing a boatload of points just because I'm continuing on right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's go with Shadar. All right, Shadar, let's get this. Here comes a Shadow Ball. That doesn't work. And, well, it's using its Restore. So let's go with a Crunch Attack right here. And that is super effective. And right here, we become a, a Mummy. And again, we are poisoned. Holy buckets. Okay, so another protect. And this guy is like stalling us just... Okay. Yeah, so the first Pokemon is always the toughest one right here. Okay, so that is a victory for us right there. And well, Toxic is killing us. So here comes a Seismitoad. Do I have a Pokemon that can get this done? And uh... yes, I do. Here we go. Gigalift. Alrighty, so Seismic Toad looking like a tank as always. Let's go with a Reflect. And Muddy Water is going to hit us. That takes away our accuracy, so let's go straight for a Psychic Attack. And wow, this Pokemon is tanking us right here too. Alright, Desert Storm, let's go. And go with a Screech Attack right here. And... Yes, Earthquake Attack does not work. So now let's go with a Physical Attack right here. Earth Power does it. And, well, we are avoiding everything like the Plague. So let's go with a Rock Slide. And this guy flinched again. So here we go. Rock Slide. And just like that, we beat Seismic Toad. And here comes Hydreigon. Holy buckets. This Pokemon right here is the real deal when it comes to boss Pokemon. So let's go with a Dragon Breath, and here comes a Dragon Rush, and wow. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to go with Magneto. And go straight for a Thunder Wave right here. Not so effective, but there it is. We have Paralyzed Hydreigon because the big picture is this Pokemon is practically unstoppable. So we have to use another Full Restore, and we're going to have to give it the Sigh of the Torrent right here. And here comes a Dragon Rush yet again. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a full restore. Get Magneto a little bit of love right here. And here comes another Dragon Rush. And, well, let's see. Time to go for a Flash Cannon. And, well, we avoided the, 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 uh, the move. And here he goes again. Flash Cannon for the win. Magneto kicking some butt, taking some names, and look at that. It grows to level 47 just off the bat, and, well, here comes Drapion, a scary Pokemon indeed. So let's go straight for Sigh of the Torrent now, now that it's, heal it's healthy. And, well, this is definitely a battle. So Drapion is coming out with everything, and, well, let's go. What the heck, man? Okay, Night Slash hits us. And, well, we were supposed to go for Ice Beams. It would be nice to actually not mess that up. So here goes Ice Beam. And that doesn't do much. So let's go with a Dig Attack. Night Slash is going to keep on hitting us. So we're going to burrow all the way down. And here comes the Dig Attack for the win. Drapion defeated. And, yes, he is coming out with Electros. Now, this Pokemon right here is kind of crazy because... It is an Electric-type Pokemon. We could go for Ground-types, but it does have the Levitate ability, which, as many of you guys already know, it makes it, it, makes it invulnerable towards uh, Electric-type Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Return Attack. 
And the power of love doesn't really do much right here, so let's go. Outrage attack. And here we go. Outrage. Nearly does it, but here comes in acrobatics. This one hits us pretty hard, and here comes one more outrage. For the win, say goodbye to Electros. Okay, alrighty, and just like that, Buckus gets to level 49. And here comes Toxic Croak. This is one Pokemon I wish I had Gigalith for. So, let's go ahead and keep Buckus right here. And here comes an Outrage attack. This might be its final Outrage before it gets confused. And there it is, it's confused. And here comes the Brick Break attack. Holy crap, okay, so we're literally fighting for our lives right here. Big Booty Buttkiss has done everything. So now we're done, now we're done, or down to uh, three Pokemon right here. So here it goes, Sigh of the Torrent. And he's like, what's this? This is nothing like I expected. Uh, well, expect this. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes a Sucker Punch. That hits us, and here comes a Surf Attack. For the win, and... How's it feel to fail? <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> I love pressing that button. There it is, guys. And we go to level 57. And, well, looks like Sai of the Torrent is learning Swords Dance right here. You know what? Screw it. Uh... You know what, let's go with that uh, dig. We already have dig, so there it is. We learned Swords Dance, and Getsis has been defeated yet again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. How can this be? I'm the creator of Team Plasma. I'm perfect. I'm the absolute ruler who will change the world. And I've lost to some unknown trainer, not once, but twice? Yeah, you lost to me twice. I can't accept this. This isn't possible. I can't be bested by fools who don't- He can't even use Pokemon correctly! Says the guy who lost to me. And, well, here we have N in his dialogue. He's like, it's hard- It's hard to call you this, but... Father, please understand. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon are human. Take, uh... Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They're... They're, they are our wonderful partners. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say he's your father? What the hell? Okay, I must have missed that. But anywho, some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Don't talk like a person. You freak. Oh, yeah. Don't talk like a person. You freak. No real person could talk to Pokemon. And, well, here comes the Shadow, shadow Triad, and he's like, Lord Guesses has... Lord Guesses has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay. Without Father, Team Plasma is... Farewell. Oh, wow, and, uh, well, on behalf of everyone, thank you. Kyurem is fine. Now, it has lost its power, but it will come here again. And, well, look at this. Reshram is looking pretty nice, and she's like, Reshram says, thank you as well. That's right. I can talk with Pokemon. On that day two years ago, a certain trainer and alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people and hurt so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with the Pokemon, humans can continue towards new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Reshiram taught me. The truth of Pokemon and me. And someday, both truth and ideals will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from uh, the oppression of uh, Pokeballs. You! What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League and put your, tr your truths to the test. Okay, and, uh, well, he is flying away, and I thought I was going to fly away with him, but, uh, never mind. F me, right? And here's our good old buddy, Hugh, and he's like, Team Plasma's uh, ship flew away. Is it over? Yep. I see. So it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Kieran from Team Plasma, right? You really are something. I'm going to make Purloin... Or I'm gonna take Perloin to, or I'm going to make sure Perloin gets back to my sister. Still, can't take it out of its Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? He said go to the Pokemon League. That's a good idea. I mean, 
now you're the strongest you know, right? Go prove it. Do you remember where we first met up in the giant chasm? If you follow the path there, it goes into Route 23. Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. Okay, now there is a little something here. It's the cane of Getsis he was holding. Was he controlling Kieran with it? I think he was. So, um, that has a... This has been an interesting episode, guys. And like I said, it is an hour long. Now, this could have been split up into like three episodes. But I chose to, you know, show show it in its entirety because I guess you guys deserve that. You know, after a very good birthday week and all that crud, guys. So, look at this. We have returned back to the old, uh, to the old, uh, what was it? The old chasm right here. And, uh, well, yeah, it is messing with me right now. Holy crud. Holy crud. And, uh, well, before we do anything, I want to get that item right there. Holy crud. Um, so, like I said, guys, it has been a very good birthday week, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for making it possible. Um, again, I always I always make it a point to step it up when it comes to the, the quality of the videos, the quality of everything. That's why this week, you guys already know that I bought myself a new, um, what was it called, a mixer board. That's where you guys heard that sound effect and all that crud. And uh, it's going to continue going from here. Um, I found the motivation to keep it to keep it going, especially with, like, you know, these walkers right here. And like I said, I'm, I'm starting to see this whole... I'm literally starting to see why this game was so good in the first place. And many of you guys have been telling me to just play it. It is good. It is very... It's much better than Pokemon Black and White, so... It is a good continuation to it all, and uh, well, I can't wait to finish it all right here because wow, there's still a lot. There's still a lot to accomplish. Now, there are items right here which I like to get, and I guess we need to talk to those guys. So before we do anything, let's grab items. And here we found ourselves the TMO3, which is Psy Shock. And well, let's see. Those are the old team Plasma members, and. Wow, they make it so hard just to get through here. Okay, so, um, is there anything else I would like to talk about before we conclude this episode? Because I know I'm prolonging this just a little bit longer than what it expected to be. Ah, it looks like we have to turn it around. So, yeah, um, yeah, the quality of this whole thing has been great. And, uh, well, you guys have noticed this week, you guys have been getting Pokemon Alpha Sapphire as promised. And, uh, you know... Um, I'm happy to provide it for you guys. Um, believe it or not, I've already produced about 40 episodes of it. Like, I've already made 40 episodes. So the only thing I need to do is just... Uh, look at that, Sunstone. The only thing I need to do now is, you know, freaking uh, edit them and just showcase them, to, uh, showcase them there for you. So... Now that we got all the items right here, let's go ahead and talk to the old Team Plasma members. And, well, let's see. Oh, you're safe. I'm so glad. As for Team Plasma's ship, a man in white la in, a wh in a white lab coat appeared. He said that a trainer had given him the answer he'd been seeking, and as thanks, he would uh, disband Team Plasma. Then he said farewell, walk a just path with Pokemon, and flew the ship away. So everything has been resolved. We were even able to confirm that Lord N is safe. Huh. And I'm in no position to say anything in, in the past. I stole Pokemon too. Okay. So, I guess we're going to stop it right here, guys. Um, just a quick, uh, just a quick, uh, just, just something very, very quick right here, guys. Um, so, I'm going to pause playing this game for about a week because, well, I need to see what happens next in order to prepare for the Pokemon League and all that crud. Um, so, the whole week, the whole net, like the whole week next week, you're going to be getting nothing but Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough videos. So, hope you guys are ready for that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this full on hour of, uh, you know, this event right here. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just like talking it up, but like it's been a full hour. I just want to say thank you guys again for the birthday wishes. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. And thank you for being patient. I'll see you guys in about a week with Pokemon White 2. See you guys.